Hi everybody, just a really quick video today explaining how you can control the audio volumes of uh, videos in uh, Adobe's Premiere Pro when you've got more than one audio or video clip. Um, so basically, maybe, for example, uh, in this particular video here, it's kind of a let's play video, so I've got my, my main uh, video and audio from the game, and then underneath we've got me chattering away, talking. So obviously we can't have them at the same volume, because you wouldn't be able to hear what was going on, so it's important you'd be able to control them separately. But fear not, it is incredibly easy in Premiere Pro. All you need to do is go over to the top left-hand corner and look for the audio clip mixer. There we go. And then you can see we've got these little sliders. And what you can see is I've already adjusted that one down. In fact, if I just play a little bit of the video, you may well be able to see... There we go. Do you see, see the, the different things bouncing up and the, down the different levels? And it's dead simple, basically, with the audio track. So there's the first audio track, the one on the bottom, then the second. And so you've got the first there and the second there. So to independently control the volume of each, you just move the sliders up or down. Very, very simple. Now, do remember that when you say, for example, when I adjust the audio track, uh, this bottom one here using the second one if i slide that one down there that affects the audio track for the entire bit of the clip the audio clip until it comes to a break so this is really useful to know because it means that when you want to um, change the relative uh, audio volumes all you have to do is put a little break in and so for example if at this point in the timeline we wanted the uh, me me talking the green audio to be get quieter all I do is press C stick a little cut in and then move the head over and now I'm working press V to get that back now I'm working on this little bit and all I do now is I can just slide that slider down and then slide that slider up because there's already a cut there um, and the the two relative volumes would be reversed so let's just play it so you can see that and see them flick over there so it's really easy as to, to control audio volume in uh, in Premiere Pro. It's just using the audio clip mixer. As a final thing, just to finish off, what you may want to do is, if, for example, here at the end of uh, the video where the Let's Play carries on, so what you can see here is where I put a cut in in the Let's Play video from the game in the audio and the video so that I can increase the volume there. The other thing you may want to do at the end of the, the, the talking audio is you may want to put a fade in. And so to get to that, all you do is you go to Effects, Audio Effects, go to, um, sorry, Audio Transitions, it is, sorry. Go to Crossfade, do something like a constant power, drag it over, and that will then fade that audio out slowly to give you a little bit of a smoother transition. doesn't really matter, but sometimes, especially if you like clunk something when you've turned the, the recording off and forgot to clip that off, that can be helpful. So there we go. That's how to independently control the volumes of audio and video clips in Adobe's Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.